Truckers, you a little hungry today? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna draw? Hamburger. Mm -mm. Tastes good. All right, dude, we got a lot of construction paper. We're gonna do a uh, hamburger out of construction paper, so you can't eat it. Sorry. Aww. I know you're hungry. <laughs> okay, so we got a lot of construction paper. What colors do we have? Black, tan, yellow, brown. Uh, green, red. Yes, and we also have scissors, we have glue sticks, and we're gonna use colored pencils to draw and shade our burger, okay? <laughs> we're gonna use our black for the background, and we cut all of our pieces in half because we're gonna make it a little smaller. So we're gonna start with our tan, and this is gonna be for our buns. So get the brown. You think buns are funny? Yeah. Think that word is funny? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So we're gonna draw two lines right here down at the bottom. This is gonna be for the bottom bun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'll be able to get through this one. Uh, okay, so two lines on the outside. This is gonna be for the bottom part. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna curve. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. okay, there we go, good job. Then we're gonna curve the bottom and connect. <laughs> These two, yes, it's round, kind of like a bun. Oh, okay, keep going. <laughs> I can't, I can't control myself. <laughs> Good job. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Nice and round. <laughs> okay. I can't make it. Oh, you made it. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, another curved line right here. Okay, for this is for the other for the top part. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna draw the back side of that. So we're gonna curve around, and there we go. So there's the top of our bottom piece of bread. <laughs> Nice job, good job. Okay, it's toasted, so let's shade that top part. Good job, okay, now let's shade the side of the piece of bread. So we'll start dark and then get really light towards the center. So it looks like it's kind of round, it goes around in a circle shape, right? Mm -hmm. So this is four short. This is a foreshortened circle, and that's because our hamburger is going to be laying down, kind of on the table. Okay. okay now we're going to draw the top part. So we're going to put two points across here. Let's go a little higher. So we'll do two points, and those two points are going to line up with the side down here. So we want to make sure that the top bun is the same size as the bottom bun, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to copy this line down here that we did. On the bottom part, we're going to do it up here on the top part. So we want those to line up. Then we're going to curve this up on both sides. And then we're going to do the top. That's a big rainbow line. Oh man, I'm getting hungry. I know. <laughs> nice, Kate, okay, and we can do the same thing. Let's just shade the outside just a little bit into the center so it matches the bottom. All right, good job, dude. Now I redrew the top part because I wanted this top bun to be a little taller than what, what I drew originally. So I redrew it. And our friends, you guys can always do that. You always feel free to redraw something if you want to. Okay, now let's draw the seeds, the sesame seeds on the top. So we're just gonna do a little ovals and mix them up. They can be kind of big and some a little smaller and turn them sideways and fill the top part. Good job, dude. Okay, now let's get our green piece of paper and we'll get our green colored pencil and we're going to do the lettuce now. Okay. So remember how close we got to the edges? Okay, we're going to put two points off to the side, similar to how far we were on the, on the bun, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then we're gonna do a wavy line like this to connect them. Looks like lettuce, huh? Mm -hmm. Then we can do the top part. And then let's do another piece of lettuce too. So we can put two pieces of lettuce. Good. And then I'm gonna shade this a little bit too. Good job. All right, now let's do our tomatoes. And if you don't like tomatoes, you can leave it off. But we like tomatoes, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we do. And now let's get our red. And we're using a dark red colored pencil. And we're going to do the same thing. Put two points to the edge so that we make sure that these are a good size. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a straight line up here and a straight line up on this side. And this is going to be for the edge of the tomato. And then we're going to do, let's do this one over here first. So we'll do a foreshortened circle and that makes an ellipse, right? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do another line down. And I went over halfway, so almost halfway, huh? That's okay. You can do a couple more. Yeah, you could also start over. Good. Okay, and then we'll do that other line down here on this side. And then we'll do another foreshortened curved line for the bottom of our tomato. And then we're going to do the same over here, but we're going to use overlapping. So I'm going to draw a half of that foreshortened. And then I'm going to do the other half or the bottom curve. And then we'll come back up. Look like tomatoes? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, and then we can also shade just like we did on the bread, the edges of our tomato. Good. We could draw the top of our tomato, but we're going to leave that off just to keep it simple. Okay. So we'll put the tomatoes off to the side and let's get our cheese, the best part. Okay. And then we're going to use orange to draw our cheese. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll draw two points off to the edge so that we know how far to go. Then we're going to do a really wide V like that. And we'll also do that V on the top. So it looks like a foreshortened square, a slice of cheese. And we can kind of shade the side of that cheese. So it's got some thickness. Okay, let's put that off to the side and then we're gonna get our brown. And this is gonna be for the patties. Now we're gonna get the dark brown and we'll do the same thing. Two points on the outside of our paper and we'll turn those into kind of tall lines so that our patties have some thickness. Thick and then, patties. Thick patties. And then we're gonna do a foreshorten, kind of like we did with the buns, foreshorten circle on the top to connect those. And then we'll do that bottom line to connect that one. Bottom there. And then let's do another one. We're going to have two patties. So we're going to layer it. So we'll do two straight lines and then a foreshortened circle. It makes an ellipse. And then connect the bottom. And then we can shade the sides. And then also color the top. Okay, now we got all of the pieces done for our birder. And we're going to cut these pieces out. But before we do that, let's do one last thing. What we're going to do is we're going to create a paper hinge for each of these pieces. So we can get our black and we're just going to do a little box up here on the top corner. And this is going to be for each we're going to create a hinge, a paper hinge for each piece, okay? So we'll do a little box up here at the top. 
in each corner. And this one, let's do two because we're going to have two patties, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll also do one for the bun. And we just need to do one. We don't need to do two. All right, dude. Okay, when you finish that, we're going to cut everything out, including the paper hinges. All right, dude, we got all of our pieces cut out. We've got our little paper hinges. We're gonna explain why we call these paper hinges because all of our ingredients are gonna be able to flip up. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, so our hinges don't need to be this wide. We probably made them a little too wide so we can cut a little piece off of them and we'll worry about that in a sec. But let's glue our first bun down, okay? okay. We'll flip it over. Brrr. Good, and so we glued our first bun towards the bottom of the black paper, right? Mm -hmm. So we can build our burger up. Okay, now we're gonna do the green, or lettuce, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna use one piece, and I'm gonna glue this other piece down. So I'm just gonna do the top edge of the bottom piece, like that. And then I can flip this over and lay it on top. There we go. Press it down. Okay, now let's get our paper hinge. We'll cut that little piece off. Okay, and then we're gonna fold our hinge in half. And we're just gonna glue one side first. Flip our lettuce over. And we're gonna put this at the top part of our lettuce. So see how I have a little bump right here that's the top most part? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that hinge right up to the top, okay? And press it down really hard. Then we're gonna glue this side of the hinge. And then we line it up and press that hinge down. And now our lettuce comes up. Look at that. Hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Press it down nice and hard. Good job. Okay, and the reason why we put it towards that we put the hinge up at the top is so that when you lift it up, it doesn't get caught on anything. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, what's next, Patty? Yeah. All right, so we'll line it up. And we're gonna get our hinge. We can cut a little piece off since we made it too big. And then we'll fold that in half. Glue one side. Flip over the patty, and we'll put that right at the top edge right on the edge. And then you wanna make sure that the hinge opens up like that so that you have the fold at the top. Good, now we'll flip it over and we'll, hit, we'll glue that other side of the hinge and then stick that down on top. But you don't wanna glue it on the green, you wanna layer it. And you wanna make sure that your hinge isn't glued on the green. There we go, like that, and make sure it opens up. And also make sure that it's lined up on the center. Mine's a little off to the left, or the right, I mean. It's a little crooked. Right. That's okay. Good job, now let's do our tomatoes. So we're gonna flip those over, get a red piece of paper or hinge, cut just a little piece off so we can fold it in half, and then glue this side. Okay, and then we'll put that hinge also right at the top. And then we'll glue that. Flip it over. Yes, I'm getting really hungry, dude. I know. <laughs> okay, let's repeat that for the rest of the steps, okay? Okay.
Chuck Norris, give me five. Your hamburger looks awesome. Now the paper hinge made the, the hamburger look 3D, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to make this art project easier, you don't have to do the paper hinges. Just glue it flat onto the paper. Do the same order that we did so it's layered and it's a little easier that way. Did you have fun? Yeah. And you got really hungry. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys didn't get too hungry, but you had fun. Yeah. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Friends. I'm going to eat mine too. So noisy, man. Just chew with your mouth closed.